Okay, so it's Jody's turn. Jody has uh, running shoes, so that takes his movement back up to three. But he's only going to move one. Actually, no. I will move him to um, there so that I can get rid of that lock. And then he's just going to stay there. And then he'll draw his cabin card. Um, actually, no. Oh, I will have him move his three. Because with his third movement, he can move back here. And then start of, instead of drawing a card, I'm going to flip that to get safety first, which allows me to draw one survival card. <clears throat> so he gets a, uh, we thought you were dead, which is going to be good for the future. Alright, so now there is only one objective card on the board. So, so I've got keys, I've got a battery. So now it's going to be interesting to see what the last objective is. Because if it is not something that's going to make it to where I can get to a finale, then I'm going to have to read the rules because I think I have to replace um, more objective cards somewhere if that's not something that's going to make it to where I can get the finale. But so far, I'm still okay. Uh, Sherry, it's Sherry's turn. And she's still moving three. So I'm going to move her one, two, three over here. And then on her card, she gets he didn't make it. So investigate the body. I do draw an objective card and I am horrified. And there's plus one to the body count. Draw an objective card. And I'm horrified. Let's see here. Would that be worth it? So I don't have any rolls. But his attack will go up to a D8. So now I don't think I want to do that. I think um, I want to keep him at least manageable to D6 for right now. So I'm not going to investigate the body. <clears throat> Alright, so now CJ's turn. CJ's not hurt. I'm going to move him over here, I think. One, two, three, into the bunny cabin. He'll draw his card, and he finds Don. Little camper Don. Tracy, one, two, three, into that space. She'll draw her card. She gets fire. Place a fire mini card on this space. Any counselor in or moving through a fire must roll four. All right. It's interesting. We have the fire at the first aid space. That's kind of not good. What luck was that? Yep. 
And rolled a one, so she took an injury. But, I mean, this is an interesting dynamic which just happened here and how this all plays out because, okay, so she took her injury for the fire. But, because of the fact that she just, uh, she's on the first aid station, so the first aid station allows her to be able to heal up. So with that, she heals back to three. Now Otis, and his stock is a three now. One, two, three. Compared to one, two, three. Yeah, so it looks like she's going to be closest. One, two, three. Oh wait, he's going to stop right here because the locked door. So he'll break the lock, and then once he breaks the lock, um, he stops moving. So that stopped him right there as he busted through the door. So she lucked out having that door there, so Otis won't be able to get her for his turn. So it's Jody's turn, and he's moving three. Where's he at? So I can move him one, two, three to there. Okay. And then he'll take his card. Oh, and Oda strikes him. Alright, so once again, D6 versus D10. So a 2 and a 5. So he fended Otis off. Now, like I said, Sherry's turn. And so Sherry is moving 3. One, two, three. Now she's going to draw her card, which she'll get the flare. CJ. two, three, and then his card is Heavy Fog. So while the Heavy Fog is in play, counselors are unable to play survival cards. Uh oh. And then this is going to go for one full round at least. So I'm going to put this here. And then for me, just to remember that there's another effect going on, I've started doing this where I'm getting some little wood pieces that are going to come in and I'm going to use those in the future but for right now I use that. So I basically place one on the campfire so that I can see that it's there and then I place another one on the card so I can see everything that um, has special actions that are affecting the game go on. Alright, so for Tracy Now that that lock's been broken, she's going to move up one, two, three. And then for the fire, it's anybody that moves through the fire. It's either in or through the fire. So the whole fact that she was there and then moved out, I would say, is kind of moving through the fire. So she will roll again to see if she took an injury or not. She took a four, so nope, she did not get injured that time around. 
So we'll draw her card, which is door jar. Draw three crab cabin cards, place them back in the cabin deck in any order. Okay. Now it's Otis's turn. Otis comes back at three. Uh-oh. So he comes back here, and then his stock is a three. So he'll make her easily. And once again, it's the D6 is against one another. So Otis will be first. He rolls a four. Tracy rolls a one. Ooh, not good. All right. So she's going to play Desperation, which will allow her to roll her dice again. Maybe we can switch it from a 1 to a 6. That'd be nice. A 4. So Otis wins ties. His damage is a 2 right now. So she's going to get hurt. And his damage is a two. So yeah, it was kind of crippling for her. And that ends Otis's turn. So now it'll be Jody's turn with the chainsaw. His movement is still three. He can one, two, three. Oh, he would just barely miss her. But I think he'll do that. He can help buffer. So he'll move three, one, two, three. And this is the first full round for the heavy fog as well. Actually means that she couldn't roll that anyway. Because she couldn't use any of her survival cards. Hmm. Alright. So he will get his card though. Mm -hmm. So he gets bear trap. Bear trap is placed in his space. Which that's actually gonna be nice. His stock will be reduced. Oh yeah, that'll be that'll won't be too bad, I think. It will be okay. Alright, so that's the end of his turn. Now it's Sherry's turn. And Sherry has the keys. Let's see here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move for here. One, two, three. Get rid of this lock. And then she'll get her card. So she gets a shortcut. You may immediately move to the nature trail of your choice. So I'm just going to move her back here. All right, and then we're CJ. CJ is going to move over here. Just gonna have him move uh, two. He'll get his card. 
downpour. For as long as the downpour continues, all counselors subtract one from their movement during their movement phase, and the downpour lasts two full rounds. So now it's Tracy's turn. She needs to get out of there. She can only move one space since so she's injured. So she definitely wants to move over here where the bear trap is and with Jody. She'll get her card and she gets fooling around. Move a council of your choice to your space. You begin uh, fooling around. She has to tempt fate at a five. Oh, at a five. So one, two, three, four, five. So lucked out. Nothing happened. And I figured since I was there, I might as well just have Jody to fool around with. Especially since he's got the weapon. So that ends her turn. And it's Otis's turn. He of course is gonna go after him these guys, but he's going to land on their space and hit that bear trap. And the bear trap is going to make it to where his stock stat is going to be lowered by one, so he's going to only be moving at two. And then he gets removed from the board, and the bear trap is removed. So that saved them. Now that was one full round, so now we're going to check on our heavy fog, see how the heavy fog's doing. Oh, and it stays in play. All right, and then this will be the first full round coming up of the downpour. So Jody's movement is two now, and he doesn't have any keys. So he's gonna stay there. Because he's going to have to protect if Otis comes back. So he'll draw his card. And then he's going to get keep still. Remove Otis from the board. Otis is already gone. Then every council in this cabin must choose if they're going to run to receive one injury and move two spaces away or hide. Wow, received so one injury. So Jody, he doesn't really want to take that injury, but if he panics, it's almost better for him to panic right now. For sure. Although Tracy, she's gonna die. If she panics, she's going to end up dying. So they can choose to either run or to hide. So Tracy is going to run because she can't take two injuries. And then by running, Wow. Hmm. She needs to be healed. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Not sure. Not sure what to do with her. So Jody's the easier one. So for right now, I'm gonna do a uh, roll for Jody to see if he can hide. So a four. So he stays hidden, and then he got to draw a survival card, which we can't use. And then it makes it to where if he has to uh, tempt fate, he doesn't have to. Now back to our harder one with Joe or with Tracy and what in the heck is she going to do? Because it's a gamble at this point. The reason why it's a hard time is, all right, so do I just move her up to that lock so that she can lock, um, break the lock and then we can try to get to a finale and see whether or not we survive the finale, but she's down to pretty much being dead or do I want to take the chance and run her four, since her panic is four, into the first aid station, but hope that she somehow makes it through the flyer safely enough to at least get healed too. I'll take her up to one or take her up to two again. So yeah. Actually, her panic is only three, so she won't make that one, two, three. Her panic's only three. Her movement will be four upon taking that wound. All right, so I think I'm gonna do that. She'll take the wound, just the one she's gonna run. And then that'll allow her to move two spaces away. She'll move here. All right, that was it. So now Sherry's turn. All right, so I think we'll move Sherry actually over here to kind of help. So she'll go one, two, to this cabin, and then she'll end her turn. Yep. And then she gets into the woods. A random council in this cabin is pulled into the woods where Oda strikes. All right, so first thing is we get a objective at the girl's shower down here. All right, so once again, one or two, it's Jody, and three or four, it'll be Sherry. So a two, one or two is Jody, so Jody's gonna be pulled into the woods. And then Otis is going to strike. Otis is still rolling a d6. Ooh, he gets a six. But Jody has the D10. Oh, but only rolls a five. Woo. So with the damage, he goes down to two. So now Jody's very, very hurt. And then any counselor who survives the woods moves to a random camp trail. Um, it's plural in that, but there's only one. It says a random counselor is pulled into the woods. All right, so let's see where he shows up. Nine. He shows up. Right where he needs to be. That was, that was fortunate. All right. OK, 
Okay, now CJ's turn. So CJ can still move his regular three movement because the downpour is not going to affect him because of his slicker. Now where is he? But he really doesn't have anything to help him. So he's just going to stay put to see what happens. He's hiding out in the, in the uh, commons. Oh, but he gets Oda Strikes. Unfortunate for him. Apparently CJ hung out too long and Otis figured out where he was. So he doesn't have any weapons, but um, he can roll a... Uh, he could have. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have any survival. He can't use his survival cards right now, so he's done. He's done. He's automatically going to take his two injuries. And then he will panic. Actually, we'll move him here. One, two, to there. Now back to Tracy. Now her movement is four. One, two, three. She's going to break that lock. The crowbar. And she'll flip this instead of drawing her card to find the gas can. So we have the battery, the gas can, and the keys. So we have the van for now that we can get to. Which is right where Rotus is. One, two, three. She can actually make it back one more. For her four, she was there, one, two, three. Um, actually, she can't, my bad. She had to flip that for her uh, cabin draw phase, which is after movement, so she is there. Okay. So now it's Otis's turn, and Otis is moving two for his stock. Oh. Mm -mm. Let's see, does anybody have something that's not a survival card that they could use? We'll move here. One, two. There's nothing poor CJ can do about it. So he'll make it he'll get his two damage. And CJ didn't make it. So now plus one of the body count. So the attack level goes up. So now Otis will be attacking the D8. Oh, and Don was with him too, so it actually goes up again, so his damage goes up as well. So his damage is now three. Alright, so let's see about heavy fog, because I desperately need to get rid of the heavy fog. So come on, three or four. Come on, three or four. Nope. Two. So it stays in play. Duh. All right, and this starts this full second round of downpour. All right, so Jody's not going to do anything but stay there. And then for his cabin draw, he's going to flip that to get keys. And he'll take. And moves on to Sherry. And she's moving two right now. 
So she'll move one, two to get there. And then she will draw her she will draw her card. And now Otis strikes her. Oh man. Otis is just gonna end up killing everybody, I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. So she can't defend herself. And that too... It's gonna be kinda of painful. So she is going to play Flare. Because for right now, Heavy Fog makes it to I can't play survival cards. But this is a camp card. So she can use her Flare. It's gonna discard this to, to cancel that fight and then Otis is going to move up to three spaces away and then I'm going to move him to move, move him there I think okay Now Tracy's turn, and Tracy has a movement of three, it would be four, but uh, the downpour making it three. Wow. So she, she's a little bit further away than I thought. So I'll move here, here for one. See if we can get lucky and get on the trail. No. She got lost. So now it's Otis's turn and he is stalking still at a two. 